Hello YouTube, welcome to part three. The door latch and the air intake. We we'll have some pictures of this. This shut all the way until I put the weight of the handle on here. I may add some weight back there, but it's always going to be open a little bit. My simple little door latch. I could do on my big stoves. This little piece of metal comes down. I've got some pictures of that. I wanted this long enough so you didn't have to get too near the stove. And you can open it this way too if you want to. So It'll open either way. Okay, that's about it. I'm spinning around here and show you down in there. I put this here because I'll have one at the back for a grate. And I also put another piece here to make it stronger. So we can get the light right. I don't want the stove to warp too much. You see there how the latch works. Really simple. This little piece of metal. Uh, I threaded this rod with die. Then when I was done setting everything, this is braised to the nut and that's braised to the rod. So it's all one solid piece now so nothing can loosen up. Hey, let's back away. There we go. So that's all braised in one unit. So nothing can come loose. Okay, make this short. There's your air thing. There's open all the way. There's closed. That has a little scrap there because that's how it lined up on the rod. I had that laying flat and I laid a little scrap in there so it would all be just right. There we go. Thanks for watching this part. Next part will be the stovepipe and the legs and it will be done.